everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Another little rumor thing, another little thing to look at. It's taking a look at um, who might most likely to leave uh, after, you know, because the Luna's is going to be contracted, going to expire in July. So the contracts will expire. People are saying what's going to happen. Ren is the most likely to leave. He's close to Kyo. <clears throat> PL is much bigger than EG account. Not familiar with Aster, but he might jump ship. Uh, Scarlet and Aya are comfortable with their positions in Niji. Got a good manager for Scarlet, at least. Not sure about Aya. And maintain their core audience, even in the drama. More plans in Niji in the future. So I don't think they're going to be leaving anytime soon. Maria is very idol-like. Impossible that she'll leave to pursue an idol career. We don't know. This is all speculation, of course. Elune are most likely locked in by now. They were selected for March 2022 auditions to debut in July. Typically, we expect contacts to be signed one or two months before debut. So they probably already, if Aluna hasn't started with the graduation queue, they're probably already still, you know, they are, they already have their new stuff, you know? They already have the new the new contract, everything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Lazulite, December 2020, debuts 16th of May. Contract expire March, April, May, June, August, September, October, November. All these things. So all these ones are going to be the ones that are going to be expiring here. And you're going to be seeing at the times that they expire. So... Maybe recruited from earlier auditions, individual contracts may be signed earlier, obligations may make it so that they can't leave, you know, may require later graduations. That's the thing that does happen. Like that TTT were recruited from earlier auditions. So we don't know. It's 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 up in the air. Post quarter four QA, we're checking the stock prices, of course. Uh taking a look at everything. E uh, either the buyback, last chance of bailout, or they just plan quarter four hype and sell. Right now, the highs were 28.34, the lows were 27.71. So it still went up about 700 points. It's at 27.75 when this was being checked, which was 16 hours ago. So what I'm going to do right now for all of you guys is check again. And here we go. It is 28.42. So it has stayed stable. It has stabilized at 28.64, 28.42 by the end of the last trading period, which was uh, as of, I think, this morning like or last night. I believe it was the end of the trading period for them. So it's 28.42, still pretty high, but that's because the buybacks, the buybacks are doing a good job. It was to prevent an equivalent of bank run. No company spends 30% of their cash on hand in a stock buyback after a lackluster quarter four. They don't do that. They only do that if, it, if it's going to make them money, you know? A uh, small business decision would be reinvest the company in a medium long-term strategy. Either desperate or confidence in, in considering the Q&A showed, you know, some stuff there. Um, they're trying to do some more uh, protectionism. Basically, buyback causing a surge, but we'll see how it goes after that. They earlier caught it one way or another. The stock lost a bunch in the first half hour. Since then, it regained that loss. So it's it's stabilizing in that whole sense. But uh, it could drop at any point, of course. This is another uh, opinion. Basically, you know, it sucks that things are happening with the EN branch. They got abandoned by their so-called CEO. Basically, they said that they're not going to be factoring in EN for their future growth plans, which means pretty much they're on life support, which is why, you know, I'm talking about this because it sucks just on a human perspective and a humanist perspective. It sucks for um, the livers who are actually struggling and trying their hardest to do something, you know, interesting to make something interesting to make content out of things. It sucks for them. Why? Because they are actually trying their damn hardest. This is not just, you know, regular. Oh, we're just we're just hanging out. No, this is a job for them. You know, I'm not sure it's going to bring you in branch like he did with ID. It may be one of those situations. But the name, sorry, don't remember. Uh. You are worth something outside of the black company. A lot of people are worth something outside the black company. Every single person in the black company and outside of the black company, when they left, they are worth something. But unfortunately, the black company makes them feel like they're not worth anything. Makes them feel like they, they are unmarketable, like Doki said. Other things like that. I think the guy never supported anything to begin with. He's just there to get the maximum profit with minimum effort. Yes, he absolutely is. Literally convinced people to get his franchise for a new model. Some connections give him two to thirds of their profits with both disadvantages of Corpo and Indy and no assurance of supporter success. That's the thing. That's basically, they're in a large corporation, but they're they're pretty much being supported like if they were Indy. They, ha they have to support themselves. They don't, they don't get support from managers or anything. It doesn't seem like. Occasionally, they get promotions, but for the most part, they don't get any support. Picked off in the first place because EN was already effectively abandoned in 2023. No projects were getting done. No money was being invested. Everyone's expected to silently make money without rocking the boat. Problem is, EN, KR, ID, which is Korea and Indonesia, all stem from the same problem, ultimately. Management wants to spend no time, effort, or money on overseas branches. They still want them to print money out for them. That is the big issue. We don't want the money to keep rolling in. We want to do none of the work to help the money keep rolling in. 
That's really a dumb move. Honestly, it's a really dumb move. And that's why I think all this stuff is happening to Nidhi Sanji. We're going to be talking about VC right now. VC is an organization, as we all know, in regards to, you know, having uh, other people outside. You know, it's Southeast Asia. They have not that many people, honestly. They don't have that many people. But they uh, admin told me to lay low so I don't get unnecessarily hurt in the crossfire. Anyways, I'm Harumi Mini. I have big Bs. And uh, there's a little thread, not that. Basically, they are going to have graduation. Announced that Gen 1 talents Kyo de Mimi, Danny Drywall will be graduating effective immediately. Kyo would like to focus on programming and Danny finds that our management is inadequate and a cause for concern. So part of it is actual cause for concern, management. And here's the thing. This is transparency. Holy crap, this is transparency. I wish Nidhi Sanji could have this type of transparency. They actually put there that one of the talents believes that their management is a cause for concern. Now, what does that mean? It means that they probably clashed a lot. They probably didn't get the support that they wanted and they had the cause for concern. But very few companies actually put it out there. This is one of them that did. We apologize and bid them farewell with a heavy heart. We acknowledge the validity in the statements and will be pushing to improve the company structure and the quality of life of our talents. We hope that you give all the support to our remaining talents in the coming months. We will do our utmost to facilitate their future endeavors. So they've actually accepted the fact that they have some things to fix. Every human being, every organization has places that they're failing in, places that they need to fix. I do. Other people do. We try our best. We are open. If we're open and transparent about it, we can actually fix it. Now, let's see what happens here. Specifically, a few concerns were brought up, including how we deferred showing the contracts to the talents as they were still being completed, which raised reasonable red flags as Danny wasn't sure that she was getting what she was getting herself into. Contracts have since been finalized. Poor quality of management and lack of industry knowledge, leading to talents feeling like they have self to self manage at times. It is worth noting, uh, while there's no excuse for our quality of management, it is worth noting that we are still a small corporal with minimal manpower and offering the Gen 1 talents a revenue split of 90-10. That's very good revenue split. We will still put better effort to do forward. Pro poor company practices like telling talents to use stock photos as B backgrounds. While this was an artistic choice on my end and not an economical one, I understand that the implication of doing so reflects poorly on the talent and the company. These are a few of the concerns, but rest assured we will reflect on them and seriously actively tackle them and strive to improve as a corpo. We hope to have your continued support. If only every single organization would do this. This is seeing that they've messed up and they are actually going to try to fix it. Now, is it their fault that they messed up? Yes. Was it a very bad thing that they messed up? Heck yes. Was it fair to the talents? Heck no. I will criticize them for that. It was not good for them to be that way with their talents, to, for them to feel the way that this is bullet pointed here. Should never get to that point. You should have better management than that. I will give full on, uh, you know, attack on that part, like, like criticism on that part. But the only way they're gonna go right now is up. They're only gonna go up from here, honestly. If they are true to what they're saying, if they are true, this VC is true to what they're saying, and they actually are working hard at this, then they have nowhere to move but up. And I'm really happy about this. Really following a drama relating VC, honestly step in the right direction. Assuming it appears to be uh, a couple people leaving, it's understandable to have growing pains and figure out how everything works. And presenting as such is fine as long as it's honest and authentic, and it doesn't keep re being repeated. That's the big thing. If it keeps being repeated, that's a bigger problem. But I hope the best for them. This person is asking for needy stats. You know, basically revenue charts, all that kind of stuff. Um, people already have those types of things because, you know, I, I was looking at this yesterday of the EN YouTube quarter four showing that Scarlet right here. If you can, you know, remember it again, Scarlet is way out there. I am and Scarlet are basically the two carrying the female side of Niji EN. Uh, more stuff like that going on. So we do have places that have statistics, but um, the JP scene is a huge mess, is saying. Most of them not really doing so well unless you've got some Hesti or Mito or things like that. The EN is pretty much... EN has big, big hitters. EN has big hitters, but they don't have enough big hitters to carry everything, you know, make it big, make it huge, make it whatever. So this is kind of just wondering if there's anything for the EN side like there is for the JP Talents average. Uh, this Playboard's list of, of top 100 is one way of doing it. And you'll see here that, uh, you know, you have Fuaminato, you have other people, uh, you know, some are in uh, in Nidisanji, some aren't, some aren't, you know, Hex Haywire isn't still in the 12th, he went up 292. You have uh, Hayato Kagami, you have other people. There's some in, in Japan that are up there, but the large majority of them, it seems like at least a good chunk of them, partially of them uh, are in the EN branch. And that's why it's weird that they're not going to support EN more because just in money made and stuff like that, it looks like they're still 
in some of the top earners in overall, most super chatted. So you have things like that happening. Uh, it's not like entirely huge or anything crazy like that, but you can still see some things here and there. Not employ the contracted, so that's another issue. Uh, they don't have a fixed salary, unlike Hololive, which has a fixed salary for their talents. And uh, then you get stuff on top of that. They have a base low ba low salary, but it's a base low salary for those in Hololive. For those who have a separate day job, it's in a very ideal environment. Uh, you can stream when you like it, and the company regularly offers you projects and other things to do. Some people say that it's no different than doing it individually, but it's 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 not true. You have to you know it really does help having a large organization usually. The memes, Mason. What do they mean? The memes, Mason. In spite of everything you've done for them, eventually they will hate you. Quarter four. Bottom text, yes. They do. In spite of everything you've done, they end up hating you. Niji Sanji ended up hating her, which was bad. It was very bad. Niji had in a few days. They're being dragged. And yes, they're being dragged and, and, and put out to pasture. They have an old yeller type of situation back in, in the behind the, the shed. And it says, go white boy, go. To Uki Violetta. <laughs> X.com. What is this thing saying? Absolute cinema. Yeah, basically right there. Cinema. This is, a, I believe it's a Hollow Stars. So yeah. <laughs> Always, always fun to see these things. Always great to see them. This is a message to everybody who used to enjoy Nidhi Sanji Ian, used to enjoy Nidhi Sanji overall, and is disillusioned, wanting to grieve about it. There's nothing wrong with grieving about a loss of a VTuber or an agency or something that you enjoyed, something that you love, something that was, you know, helping you in your daily life, helping you uh, mentally, emotionally, whatever it is. There's nothing wrong with grieving because... It's very important to have that process. And like this person says here, of course you're allowed to grieve. You had something good and it's gone. Finding the awful reality behind stuff you loved and helped you through rough patches is kind of a normal part of growing up. Doesn't mean that the memories you had aren't real or that the feelings of joy you felt are now invalidated. Maybe they feel a little tainted because they do. It does feel a little tainted when, when you get uh, a company like this betraying you the way that it feels like they betrayed the, the fandom. Maybe they feel a little tainted, but as you are now, you wouldn't be here without a period of, that period of time especially if it's a big impact, as you're saying. Sounds like you miss a community most of all. The truth is, that can be found in lots of other places. There are a lot of other good VTuber communities out there that you can enjoy, of course. Not only large corporations, you have Idol, you have uh, Face Connect, you have indie VTubers who are not com you know, combined with anything else. And basically, a lot of people deal with it in their own ways. Some people seem like they're going to be fine with it. Some people feel it seem like they're like, oh, they're dealing with it fine. But it hurts always. It hurts to lose a a uh, VTuber, like when Kiryu Koko was lost, when Mano Alo was lost, I grieved as well. I'm just being perfectly honest with you. I grieved when Kiryu Koko was, was gone, when Mano Alo was gone. Uh, the Mel situation, also I grieved. All those types of things that happened. Rushia, even though it was kind of her fault, but Rushia, I grieved on that one too. It was a sad moment. And that's fine. That is fine. As long as it doesn't uh, cause you to bring harm to yourself, as long as you don't harm yourself in that grieving process, it is fine to grieve. That is my message to you guys. Here we have a bit of collab for Father's Day. It looks like right here, iBuyPower is having a PC that you can buy already pre-built with Mori Calliope out there. And it says, uh, get your daddy a new PC for Father's Day. Holy S. And uh, Kobo is like, happy Father's Day, dad. I want the new PC. <laughs> and then Height says, I love you, big daddy. Oh, wow. And then iPower is like, we love you, dad. Yeah, big up, son. Based. It's very based. Yes, it's very based, but it's hilarious. Uh, just like an Adam movie. Uh, all wholesome moments, very wholesome moment, but the big daddy thing was she was like, oh, the Cali is everyone's dad, and Cali is everyone's dad was like, what the hell? What the hell, son? What are you doing? Cali nearly managing an uninterruptible power supply pun there. Uh, height coming in hot, landing heavy, because height and high, I buy power, they have a, uh, basically, I buy power uses a lot of height cases, so they have a collaboration going on and business partnership to start off with. If you remember, they sent stuff to Doki Bird too. So, height coming in hot. Kobo, happy Father's Day. Buy me stuff on brand for Kobo. Another day in life for Uncle Dad. I I can hear the British pig from that promo code. Uh, her next merch drop should have a shirt that says 100% Wine Dad. Yeah, the uh, use code Dad Day. 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 As we know, everybody has physical merch in Hollow Life. We know this already. This is the physical merch that's going to be happening. Uh, for her birthday set, this is on JP side, not on the China side. This isn't on Billy Billy. This is specifically for things that are going to be shown for um, everything going on in the Hollow Life side. And of course, I always like showing you guys everything that's going on since this is a pretty new one. Not not having a lot of people responding to it. We're showing everything that's going on here. And um, 
showing, uh, let's see, Tokino Sora's birthday commemorative goods. Photos have arrived. These are the ones that they have for today. These are the samples that they have. Photos of Nui Sora and others will be posted tomorrow. The full set comes with a handwritten signature. Handwritten signature. Remember that, Luca. Remember that, Niji Sanji. Handwritten signature. Probably full set is probably going to be limited. Honestly, the full set is probably going to be very limited. And it's probably going to be semi-expensive. Because holy crap, I don't want her to get carpal tunnel by doing like uh, 500 signatures. She's probably going to do 100. To be honest with you, they originally they do around, you usually do around 100 or so. And um, those, those signatures are always coveted. They a lot of times get laminated and such. So they are coveted big time. So yeah, all these things right here, of course, you know, she's she's promoting her shop.holopro.com. And this is, you know, their photo sets. Good looking at the actual website that we always like to do. It is everything that can be shown here. That's the full set here. If you want all of it, the hand, the hand signed signature, you have all these things here. The handwritten message, hand signed signature. All these things are going on. All these things you see here, everything. So good times. It's always good for them to have all this stuff. Unlike a certain other company, at least in the EN side, they're not this way. But in the JP side and EN side in Hololive, they seem to be a more close friendship, an actual bond that they have. They try to actually be something together, be a group, do what they can to help each other out, at least what it seems like. I'm not saying that Nidhi Sanji doesn't have good people, but the organization is not allowing them to do those types of things. So here's what happened. Nenichi today is Boka. Recently, Omarun said that Nene had, I'm working hard on the morning stream. I keep working hard on it. And when Nene stream at 18 o'clock, which is 6 p.m., Nene, you streamed at 1800 today. That's great. She always gives me compliments like that. While Omarun is working hard on another job this morning. So Nene, the Ohai Pole, which uh, is Oha Pole, Oha Pole, which is Poka's morning stream. Oh, yeah, she does Oha Pole. She's been doing that morning stream for like months now, I believe. Uh, Nene, the Oha Pole, Poka's morning stream instead of her. Uh, didn't want her to sh her streak to stop because of another job. Yeah, exactly. Supporting. It's, it's a good friend. Source clip, source stream. Uh, she's... A sweet person Nena is. The more I learn about her, the more I love her. Later, she retweeted that she couldn't sleep that night. So basically, she was awake until the morning stream. And because of the lack of sleep, she had to stop streaming in the afternoon to rest more, even though she really wanted to stream more. Nena Chi needs to get some sleep. And here we go. Let me let me get you guys the uh, sound first. <laughs> She's, she's pretending to be Polka. <laughs> oh, Hapol. Oh, Hapol. Oh, Hapol. Yes. Where is Nenechi? Oh, Nenechi. Today is Polka. Today is Polka. Polka, Polka. Polka. That's the stuff that I had mentioned. That she's working on other stuff. Working hard in the morning stream. She does have her morning streams. Keep working hard on it, yes. Yep. Interesting, yes. So yeah, <clears throat> she wanted to support her friend, which is amazing. I love it. Same thing with this one is um, they have a showing of everybody all the way from Watame to uh, Luna to Mio to Fubuki to everybody. There's Mel, Rushia, complete representation, Watame, Uibim, uh, everybody. You have Hatons here, like you have Miko, you have uh, Risu as well in the beginning. Like you have right here, uh, this was, these these are, that's the Risuners. There was uh, the Hatons on the left. You have all these people. You have Mio there, the uh, the fans, the uh, Akirose and Fubuki right there. You have uh, Marine, Pekora, who both got destroyed. You have Gen 5. You have Miko there. And also, you know, Nene looks like again, or, or, or Marine. 
Um, you have, it looks like even some Hollow Stars people are there possibly. So you have a lot of representation. You have Shion there. There's Shion. You have Louis. Yep, you have some Hollow X people. You have, again, yep, you have Louis the Hollow X people. You have Kyo Koyori. You have, you right there. You have Laplace. You have all of them. They're all there. They're all just being shown little bits and pieces, as you can see. It's really fun. It's it's the beam bomb bomb beam bomb bomb beam bomb bomb beam. They even have Asa, A Achan, and freaking Nodoka. Freaking A. They have Achan and Nodoka even. They have everybody. They're trying to show everybody. It has right now 125k views as of one day. It's very fun. It's basically they're trying to have everyone represent in there, and that's that's uh, amazing. That's what I like. I like seeing that. And the see what responses. People are uh, translate to English. They're saying list of characters all here. Fubuki Festival, Hanatar Festival. Nakomata Porridge, Miyokami, Kanata, Amane, Yukihani Lama, Lami, the, basically the freaking fit generation, uh, Toa, Watame, Luna, Koko. They even have Kirio Koko in dragon form. Uh, Sora, Aski, Roboko, Sakura Miko, Nonun, uh, Suisei, you know, Choko, Ayame, Aqua, Subaru, Shion, Ryu, Rui, Lui, Iroha, Koyori, Lapless, all in the front. Yep. Rose Tai. Kapomin, everybody. They have everybody, man. The Mitai, everybody. They have everybody there. So it's just a bunch of fun. I'm glad. This is a bit of a funny, just basically trying to give you guys a little bit of a funny moment with Hollow Live in this case. Uh, AI thing has been popping up. The AI chat summary has been popping up recently with YouTube. Uh, as long as you refresh, it'll give you a new one. This first one says, Caddy demonstrates her intelligence by solving a problem quickly. Chat praises her while someone brings up the fear of ladders. <laughs> Second one, Chat is discussing a virtual robot named Roboco whose ancestor is shown in the video. In the video, the ancestor had just come to life for a brief moment before collapsing. Viewers are reacting with excitement and disbelief at Roboco's origins. Next one. In a fighting live stream, Mori the streamer is facing off against an army by herself. However, she has an amazing aim and has taken them down in droves with the help of two teammates, Sadie and Charles. The chat is about a streamer, Callie, face tanking the machine gun in a video game. Uh, people are reacting in amazement and humor, commenting on her toughness and absurdity. Uh, people are reacting to a story about a man named Arthur. Uh, they are discussing the actions of a character named Dutch who's being called out for betrayal and manipulation. They express sympathy and Arthur and his family criticize Dutch's leadership. People are discussing a bear that appeared during a live stream and interacting in the chat. The bear is initially scared of the streamer, uh, Callie, but she quickly turned the situation into a comedic jo one, joking about fighting with a knife for a shotgun. Viewers are enjoying the unexpected event, making a humorous comments. Challenging battle between gunslinger named Callie and Grizzly Bear unfolds. Despite Callie sustaining injuries, she emerges victorious, earning praise from viewers and exceptional skills. And then we have the next couple of ones, which are... Oh, I'm going to make this one smaller because it, it, I cover it. It says, in a Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay stream, VTuber Callie repeatedly falls off horses, uh, resulting in a compilation video being suggested. Viewers are entertained by the funny accidents and comment on Callie's clumsiness. And the final one, Callie is reacting to... The chat is reacting to a VTuber who keeps falling off her horse while playing a game. Viewers are telling her to pay more attention to the game and not read chat while she rides. So that's Callie right there, being trolled by the AI chat, it looks like. Honestly, though, I hate those chat summaries, but these, these are funny as SF. Yes, they're perfect. Thing for all you feet lovers, all you degenerates who love feet like other people do. I'm just playing with you guys. You guys aren't degenerates. You can love feet if you want. Uh, hey, since the likes are hidden now, you can like the fauna feet study that I never posted and no one will know, Keck. And there it is. There's a fauna feet study for all, all the people who enjoy uh, feet and enjoy uh, fauna's feet, I guess, in this case. You're doing. But yeah, you have you have the different feet there for the people who are, are feet enjoyers. Uh, and what is that? Uh, that's that's a bracelet. How the hell did she take that bracelet off? It's got to have a clasp. And why is she wearing? Is she wearing like spandex or something? Like why? Like I'm focusing on the. Oh, I guess those are her socks. But ew, wouldn't that ew? Wouldn't that make it sweaty? Ew, like ew. On my end, like, what the heck? What the heck, my dudes? Uh, waiting for a pomp comment. Source, Mikurun over here. Fauna's feet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mikurun commissions, doing all these other different commissions. Has the, uh, what the heck happened while I was sleeping, guys? Had 8.9k likes. <laughs> well, people started liking it for freaking freak's sake. People are going to like it. Uh, very nice feet. The idea of drawing foot in perspective is so scary. I simply cut my drawings off at the thigh. Uh, drawing a lot of Naruto when I was young helped a lot, but I struggle with the soul. If that's a word. It's actually good drawing references. Whoa. People are freaking going crazy for this. Of course they are. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.